Matt Mahoney. And I'm KC, and we're gonna make a cake. I'd like to welcome you to And You Can Eat It 2. In the first episode, we learned that the uh, fire alarm does not really help you when you start the fire in the first place. But this time's different. This time we're making a pizza cake. Now many people ask me, what's a pizza cake? Well, basically what a pizza cake consists of is the two best elements, which is pizza and a cake. Well, in our first, in the first episode we learned that the pizza, the consistency on the pizza was a little lacking in flavor. flavor. But we decided more confectionery sugar, more Uncle Ben's, more prescription drugs, <laughs> and, all, and all that good, great stuff. So uh, okay. we're going to begin the whole process with Casey's going to make some uh, frosting. I'm going to be making some cake. First, we take our Star Market brand cake. Cake mix while Casey prepares for <laughs> the movie theater. Boxy confectionery sugar. Uh, one half teaspoon of salt. Where's the salt? Got most of that. <laughs> salt, 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 salt. 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 Shells are our friends, right? Yes. Okay. Oh. How you doing? That was so bad. What was the teaspoon? The spoon. <laughs> I'm going to stop here. Hey, we'll just uh, pick it up on the pink speed. Alright. Get it all up. Everything wet. So Matt, could you tell me what you're doing right now? I'm scraping off like the stuff on the bottom of the bowl. You know like whenever you eat like 
like Cheerios, and you put sugar on the Cheerios, and then at the end, you have like this milky sucrose goo, yeah. which is like the best part of cereal. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm scraping off. Mmm, sucrose. Alright, so what are we going to do right now? Are we Are going to mix this stuff? We're going to mix this. Sounds like an adventure. This stuff right here, created by Madden Honey and myself, using all the elements. So this sticky goo. We've made the batter, which any old, anyone can do, but the real art of the pizza cake is in the decorating. Alright, because, like, you know, basically anyone can make a cake. <laughs> anyone can make frosting. <laughs> but not anyone can just make a pizza cake. Alright, so I'm going to put it in the oven. What you want to do is you want to have the oven preset to about 250 for about 10 minutes. Okay? Then you want to put pizza, the cake here, in for about 35 is at 250. Normally you put it in for 350, but you want the cake to rise a bit slower. All right, you don't want this like big, huge, thick pizza cake crust. No one likes that. That would be a mess. That'd be a mess. We're not into messes. Not at all. Not no. at all. Very clean. And you put it up to about 350 for the last 10 minutes of the baking. Uh huh. All right. You ready to do it? I'm ready to do it. All right. Yes. And, yes. Um, and we didn't even get a good red. We have like watermelon red. Yeah. All right. And as you've noticed, uh, 
I it's, hope you noticed. It's hard. Pepperoni is not watered on red. It's, it's red. Yeah. But, you know, it is edible, which is great. Everything on the cake will be, you know, sweet. You know, we thought about using real pepperoni, but that's probably cheating and partially disgusting. Yeah. We, we did on the last cake, but... Yeah, but no one ate that. <laughs> no one ate it. No one liked it. But, so we got this. We cut them into these little pepperoni shapes. Shapes that pepperoni look like. So we're going to start that and um, see how that goes. Sign up. Okay, now this is the tricky part. All right, we've let the cake cool and everything. We have to start cutting into the eye of the cake. All right, so we take any kind of knife, butter knife will do, not something not too sharp. Kind of cut around about a quarter of an inch. It's the safest part of the cake. That's right. The eye. Now, let's see. As I'm doing this, as I said, Casey, busy making the pepperoni shapes. Sweet. This is this is kind of a circle. This should do. Yeah, yeah. All right now. Okay. Now let me go the circle a little bit bigger. Sweet. Pretty soon we're gonna start peeling this out and stacking it along the crust. Okay. After we've stacked it, then we'll just coat it all with the brown frosting made with the white frosting and the cocoa. And um, let's see. All right, yeah, that's good. There, just like that. Kind of want to get it, you know, as smooth of a layer as you possibly can. part about this. Just get to eat the leftovers. Mm. Okay. This is not the cake so far. We had to enlist the help of the camera girl, Sarah, because if you haven't picked up on this yet, the basic theme of this project is any two idiots can bake a cake. And we were only half right about that. We did need a little help with the frosting process. This is all about decorating. We are not master decorators. Mm -hmm. So Sarah did step in, even though she's camera shy. But, um. Camera's not. But now this is what we have we have our crust, we have our sauce, we are ready to begin the, the cheese process. Now, for the cheese process, we get to use these cool bag things. I don't know what they're called, but look, cool. Alright. This is a, um, a 69 tip. That means something. Sarah told me it did. All right. Now basically what we want to do here is try to really kind of give a feel for um, some you know, individual pieces of cheese, <laughs> some crisscrossing cheese, some melting cheese, and really form a, a nice definition between the crust and the sauce. You see, like, cakes. It, like, you know, pizza chefs have it easy. They just, you know, take a bunch of cheese and throw it on there. You know, making a pizza cake, totally different. Oh, totally different. We're going cheese by cheese here. Anyway, uh, we'll keep you updated. Mm. Okay, the 
cheese process is done. First layer of cheese. Now we're gonna move on to little peppers, little pepperoni. Casey. Yeah. yeah. Casey's been working real hard at cutting these out. Yeah. We'll do those. Well. Do a little pepper action. Pepperoni went to the market, and it said, "Don't eat me." And then the butcher said, "I'm gonna put you on a cake." Oh, that's, a, that's an amazing pepper. That's nice. Check that out. Look at this. I like it. I like it a lot. It's making my mouth water. Well, we can't see it. I'd like to point out today. I'd like to point out also. Maybe we should only put the peppers on one half because some people don't, don't like peppers. Yeah. I'd like to also point out that this is Good Friday. This is Great Friday, Casey. That's what I meant. That's what I meant. I think I made too much pepperoni. There can never be too much pepperoni. That's what my mom always says. I'd like to, get it I'd like to dedicate this pepperoni, actually, to Teresa de Mayo. That's sweet. Teresa? Pepperoni goes out to you. You sure want to do that? I mean, that's a lot of pepperoni. That's kind of a commitment. Well, making this cake has really changed me a lot. How's it changed you, Casey? Well, at first, I didn't think it could be done. When I, when I was, I remember because I'm like pizza cake. You're like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. I was like, <laughs> anyway, that that's that's impossible. There was cake and there was pizza, and the two shall never meet. Yeah, I remember you saying that. And but I'm like, but hope, have hope, aim high. Hope, hope is really what what saved me in this project. Should I put the? Because this is, I could cover the whole pizza with pepperoni. I think that's good. I think that's a. Uh, that I'm could be. That could that. be like excessive amount of pepperoni. Yeah, I think we should tone down the pepperoni just a little bit. I think this piece should go. Mm. No, you need some right there. Where? Right there, with that. Did we ask your opinion, Sarah? <laughs> hey, keep your hands on the camera. Okay, now basically we're going to move on to the finishing touches. Let's talk about this project. You can eat the leftovers. <laughs> okay, part of the finishing touches is you have to add oil. Now, since using real oil would be gross. Honey. Right. Pure honey. Pure honey. Put it in a paper cup, get a nice bend it a bit, get a nice point, you slowly drizzle drizzle it all over there. Oh yeah, that's a greasy pizza. Oh. I just wanna eat it. Matt, I just wanna eat the cake. Control yourself, Casey. I'm, I'm no hey, hey, calm down. Matt, it's so good though. It looks so good. I want to eat it, Ben. I know, I know, I know. Matt, I want to eat the listen, cake. Listen, listen, listen. Soon, 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 cake. soon. Eat soon. Cake. Soon. Eat soon. Cake. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Okay. Cake. We have to cut cake. this. We have to make the real quick. Okay. So then you take some nutmeg. All right. Sprinkle that just a little bit around on the cheese. Give a little oh. sense of spices. Maybe some pepper oh. on there. Oh. Just nutmeg. A little bit of cinnamon. Do the same thing. Can I do the cinnamon? You can do the cinnamon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about the kind of booty on this? Nice. Okay. Say hello to Mr. Cinnamon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. a lot. That's a spicy pizza. Now, for the final steps, <laughs> you drop the cinnamon. Okay. <laughs> Take a little bit of confectionery mm -hmm. sugar. I want to sprinkle it around the uh, the crust area just to give like a little hint of um, of uh, <laughs> you know dough and some flour just a little bit just slightly. That's how the Italians like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, it's a pretty cake. Oh, it's a pretty cake. It looks so good. Cake, you look so beautiful. 
You know, like we were making this in the beginning, we're thinking, you know, we're just gonna throw this at someone. We might actually eat this. We might. It's quite possible. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is your pizza cake. You asked, we delivered. You're looking so good, cake. You're so good. I love you. I love you. Where's my little pizza cake?